welcome to this GTA Online movie where I make $10 million in one video. And if you watch to the very end, you're literally part of that one percentile. Like your attention span is insane. And also if you watch to the very end, I'll give you uh, a cookie. All right, let's get into the video and I hope you enjoy. If I sound a little different, it's because I have allergies, but yeah, let's get into the video. So I'm starting from scratch, meaning I'm gonna make a new character. To start out, what you're gonna wanna do is uh, go to your phone and you should start out with some money. So go to your phone, go to the Diamond Casino Resort website and then buy a membership there. And then what you're gonna wanna do is set a waypoint and head over to the Diamond Casino. Once you have done that, this long cutscene will play and this Diamond Casino basically makes it so you can gamble, you can spin a wheel and try to win a daily prize. You can acquire chips by trading in money for them or you can acquire money by trading in chips that you already have. So first thing I'm gonna do is actually go spin this wheel. This is how you get your daily rewards I just talked about but it looks like I only got clothes So that's whatever next thing you want to do is go up to this stand here Accept your visitors bonus and then if you really want to what I actually did is I just traded in all my chips for money This is gonna make it so I can go buy guns and ammo and armor next I headed out of the diamond casino Went into a gun store and bought max super heavy armor The next thing I did is I went and bought a few guns So the first one I bought was actually free and it's this little shotgun right here and then next thing I bought was this mini SMG and I bought full ammo on it And so now I'm completely out of money, but I will gain that back very very soon So GTA has added this brand new heist a few weeks back and it is very nice for beginners because you don't have to own any Property you can straight up just start the heist as soon as you start a new account It pays a decent amount and it's very easy It's honestly one of the funnest and easiest heists I've played so you'll just want to go to your map and find this yellow V now if you can't find it You just need to play the game for a second and then a guy named Vincent will call you once you enter his call It'll pop up on your map So once you head there you're gonna want to start up the first mission and it'll basically set a chain reaction of all these setups And I really recommend checking out my beginner's guide to this heist because there are some things that you don't want to miss To make this heist just a lot easier So you'll start and this long cutscene will play and just like any other heist you'll have to do all these setups so this first one you need to go and acquire money for the budget of your heist you head to locations a and b you'll take whoever you need to take out head inside these buildings take the money inside of these laundry machines and get out of there i'm just kind of skimming across these setups because they're pretty self-explanatory and i don't think i need to explain them and i also just have a video on it so if you really want to have an in-depth guide just check out that video the next setup is you'll basically just rinse and repeat this where you'll head back to the v the yellow v on your map and just keep doing these setups they're pretty easy so this next one you'll start it up and first thing you're gonna want to do is head over to this laptop located on your map and once you head there you'll have to find this guy that Vincent sent you a picture of you need to find him take his laptop and just leave there next thing you're gonna want to do is head over to this terabyte icon on your map and once you get there you want to make sure this is why I bought guns and armor and all that good stuff because there is security drones with that can shoot you so you want to take all of them out and once you've done that you head inside the terabyte take the hacking device and get out of there next it's gonna send you to the cartels compound and once you get there you need to take as many guys as you need to out and find the keys for the train once you do that you need to get inside the train and escape with it and as you're driving along the train tracks you need to hack these stoplights and if you do not hack them in time your emergency brakes will start going and you'll just slow down immensely so hack them as soon as possible and yes there will be many people after you this next setup is where you actually acquire your gear and weapons I recommend actually going for target B but it's actually personal preference so yeah you'll head there get onto this yacht if you chose the option that I chose take as many people as you need out find and steal the weapons and gear and then get out of there it's very easy very self-explanatory so you should not have an issue completing this now this next one is honestly probably the hardest mission in this entire setup and heist situation I don't know why but I I just struggle with this setup so bad I don't know why but it's where you you basically have to steal your getaway vehicle and I usually choose option C because I tried the other ones and just couldn't do it or got disconnected from the server and also it gives you an army vehicle which I think is pretty nice so once you head to the location you're gonna want to go if you chose option B what you want to do is actually drive past the helicopter find this army truck take out everyone inside and then you want to use the guns on top of it to shoot down any enemy helicopters and then shoot down the helicopter that's carrying your vehicle once you do that you want to steal the vehicle and just drive 
drive to the garage and this is actually the part i struggle with i don't know why it's just hard like i keep dying it's whatever you just gotta get there and leave the area once you text vincent about the getaway vehicle you're using all right and on to the final setup what we have is very easy uh you'll start it up and you'll just head over to this location where there will be two vans you want to sneak up behind them and stay close to them because you need to actually hack them and just keep driving after it and even after you hack it you want to wait for the van to stop because you're going to need to take everyone in there out and then you want to steal the cluck and bell outfit from the bag that drops on the floor and then once you do that you want to head to the other van and hack that one but you don't need to steal anything from there you just want to hack it and leave next you want to go to the cartel's garage and it'll put you inside this warehouse and what you're going to want to do is stealthily i recommend at least taking everyone out very quickly make sure you don't kill anyone in front of the security cameras because you will get caught and also make sure no one sees a dead body so that's why you want to do this very fast next thing you're going to do is actually find and steal the drill here or sometimes it's in a different location but you want to take it and then go over to each and every one of these trucks click right on the d-pad or whatever button it is and sabotage the delivery trucks and then after that don't leave quite yet you want to head to this room and wipe the cctv footage because if you don't do this then you will not be able to go into the heist stealthily which you really want to do after you've done that you want to go into one of these rooms find all of these lockers and then you want to just drill them until you find a key card once you find the key card you want to leave the garage and then go and steal this flatbed and drive it to vincent's lockup and just like that all of these setups are complete and we can start the big heist now don't worry it's very very easy i'll just walk you through it i'm not gonna go too into detail but i will just show you what i do in the heist so you'll start it up and then this cutscene will play where you climb out of here and basically everyone you see you just want to take them out by shooting them in the head and just do it very fast and it'll spawn you with a gun with the suppressor so just keep using that one but make sure none of the bodies see you or see each other die so you'll take those two guys out take this guy out and instead of just rushing through this door here you want to actually wait for this guy right here to turn around and then you can open the door and get through this hallway now instead of just rushing down this hallway you want to hide behind this wall and follow what i do you want to take this guy out and then take these two guys out here relatively quickly now you can either wait or you can just take everyone out all together as fast as possible but if you're just beginning i would recommend waiting for this middle guy here to walk all the way up the hallway once he walks past this guy on the left you want to take him out then take the guy on the left out and then take that last guy that walks to the left out and then the people on the very back you want to take those two guys out also and then head down that hallway and get inside of this door here when you insert your key card and then enter it instead of just going down there and shooting everyone up you should follow what i do to get caught by no one so you want to walk down here and actually melee this guy here then you can take the last two guys out with your gun and then all you got to do is just steal all the loot down there once you steal all the loot you want to head back outside of this area here then turn right take this guy out and then turn right again and then take this guy out that will walk through here just like that and boom and then you want to actually instead of heading forward you want to head backwards insert your key card here and then head into this next area which will have the rest of your loot once you do that you need to take these two guys out doesn't really matter which order just do it quietly then find a crowbar open all these crates and then those will have the rest of your loot in there then head back out go down this hallway you originally were in head down this hallway down here and then a guy will be walking through this one right here so you just want to take him out quietly and quick then head down here take this guy standing right here out head down this hallway and quickly take these two guys out here because they will see that dead body and once you took those two guys out you don't need to worry about anyone else next find the keys for the office and then head to the office then you need to unlock the office door with those keys get inside of there and then hack this computer and this will give you some sort of device that helps you unlock the safe code so all you do is use that device and it'll lead you to certain computers around the map that you need to head over to and just pull up your device as soon as you walk over to the right one and you need to do this three times with the right computers and it'll give you the code on your device once you found the code on your device then just enter it into the safe and then you need to get out of here shoot this electrical box here and this door will open instead of just randomly taking everyone out you still want to be stealthy because the police are on you but they don't know where you are and neither do the cartel so take that guy out then you want to take these two guys out and still obviously do it stealthily and just make sure no one sees each other dying because you know you will get caught so take that guy out and then head down here and take these two guys out just for safety measures and then you can head inside this garage grab your getaway vehicle and then what you're gonna want to do is uh, try to avoid the police as much as you can but 
that you want to try to drive on the train tracks the entire time uh, down this route right here. So you'll just basically get out of the garage, turn left, try to avoid the police as good as possible, and then just drive down the train tracks the whole time. Now, if you can't, it's fine because the police will barely be on the train tracks at all. So yeah, you want to follow the train tracks as best as you can down this road. And once you get to about this point right here, you want to get off the train tracks and onto the road because the train tracks don't really keep going towards your destination. And so you just want to drive to the city and at a certain point, the police will automatically lose you. So you just want to drive to the garage or destination and this cutscene will play and it's basically just Vincent telling you that you have completed the heist. After that, if it's your first time doing this heist, you should earn around 750,000 and usually you'd earn around 500,000, but there is a extra 250,000 first time bonus. So that is very good for us. And the first thing I'm going to do is go buy more armor and ammo. You can actually buy ammo from your interactions menu. So I would recommend doing that. But if you're already at the gun store, then you should just, you know, buy it there. The next thing I did was obviously buy armor. And then I bought this special carbon. It's just basically a good rifle. I personally think that this is a great rifle to use uh, for, I don't know, any mission. And yeah, I also went ahead and bought some snacks from the store. But next thing we're going to do is you want to go to your map and head over to this yellow R here. And I marked the wrong one. It's actually the other one on the left, but I fixed that once I get there. Now, once we get there, this will start up the DAX missions and these can earn you immense amounts of money. And for a very easy mission every time, there are 12 DAX missions in total. The first six will earn you about 50k per mission so you'll finish the mission get whatever money you earn from the mission itself then once you are done you'll get a first time bonus of 50,000 every time you complete one of these six missions and actually I'm not gonna go very into detail with these missions because I've covered them so many times on my channel and these are very self-explanatory because there's no crazy hacks or anything with these missions uh it's basically just taking people out at least on this first mission you just take Take people out and retrieve Dax's stolen RV from the lost MC. If you need help, just go into the comments. I'm sure I can help you or someone in the comments can help you, but I'm probably just going to skip over this mission because it's very easy. So as you're driving Dax's RV back, if you've gotten to this point yet, you are going to drive it back to this abandoned warehouse and it'll eventually be the HQ of Dax and his gang. And this will allow you to continue these Dax missions. And so I completed it. And as you can see, I earned 50k, bringing us to up to about 800k you should have about this much if you're following along uh we're starting up the next mission so yeah let's get into it this next mission also is very simple i also um wanted to let you know that i went and bought a homing rocket launcher you know a guided missile rocket launcher because some of these dax missions are way easier if you have this gun and it just makes the game a whole lot easier if you buy one so i would recommend buying one but it brought me down to about 760,000 because i also bought full ammo which which was 30k so yeah we're gonna start up this next mission and you just basically you head to the jetsum terminal uh find a truck cab take dax's supplies and then you need to leave and then eventually the supplies catch on fire and so you need to detach it from your trailer before it blows up and then you want to head to the lost mc clubhouse take everyone out grab their supplies and planning info by taking a picture of it and sending it to dax and then you steal whatever you need get out of there and then head back to the freak shop once again i earned 50k extra on top of this 14 15k I earned from the mission itself. Next, I am doing the third mission of the DAX missions. It's pretty simple. Um, this is exactly why I bought this homing launcher. Uh, just because what you do really in this mission is you drive to the destination and I recommend getting on top of a hill somewhere and then you just use the homing launcher to destroy the property of the lost MC instead of just going in there, taking everyone out and trying to blow it all up yourself. You just use the homing launcher and keep buying ammo from your interactions menu. And once I did all of this it made me head over to miller's fishery and take as many people as i need to out and steal the goods there should be about 10 of them and if there's two extra ones you can't find you just need to head over to this white building here and it'll be inside of the building you need to go inside of it and then also there will be some on the docks just to let you know and then once you've found all of it you want to head back to the docks if you're not already steal this plane and then drive it to the freak shop and land it inside of the gutters it earned me about 20k and then it about 50k extra extra because of the first time bonus once again i went back and bought another weapon and then a little bit of ammo and armor but next i'm starting up the fourth dax mission and this is the easiest dax mission out of all of them in my opinion so all you do is start it up and then you just follow what it says and it's just kind of like a it's just kind of a weird
standard mission. There's no really any difficulty to it. You just kind of follow what it says. It's very easy. You just have to play it. But once that's done, about it, like one of the easiest 50Ks of my life uh, after the mission is finished, obviously. And then I went back to the freak shop after that mission, obviously after earning the money, and then started up the fifth Dax mission. And once I started this up, I had to head over to the hippie camp. I had to take everyone out and then blow up these like weird tents here. And after that, it made me find a van in their hippie camp get inside of it to see the locations of these other delivery vans and then you need to just go and drive and take all these delivery vans out you know blow them up and then after you've done that you want to go to the altruist camp this mission is pretty hard in my opinion but you need to take as many altruists out as you need to blow the extra delivery vans up then a big helicopter will come after you and this is actually why i bought the homing launcher once again because you just use that to blow it up and then you just escape the altruist camp and boom the mission's complete which after this it'll be on to the last dose missions which will be the last six of them this mission is very very easy all you do is drive to the humane labs and then you can do this stealthily or loud whatever you want to you just need to take the guards out as many as you need to then get inside of this building once you hack the door then you need to take you know obviously as many people as you need to out once again and find the chemicals inside of these boxes and once you have found all the chemicals you need to get out of there and then get over to this train station here and within this certain amount of time and then switch the train train onto a different track once you get there and then once that happens that train will crash and then you have to go and get a saw from somewhere near where you are and then once you grab the saw you know steal it you need to go to the train crash site and then you use that saw to open up these freight containers while being attacked by people and you're opening these freight containers and there will also be a helicopter that is trying to shoot you so just watch out for that and that's also why I would recommend once again to get the homing launcher it is very useful for helicopters but you want to just keep opening these until you find all the supplies you need or the chemicals collected and once you get to the very end of that line of freight containers and you've collected all the chemicals you need you'll head over to the six by six brigade get inside of it and then drive it out of there and try to drive it back to the freak shop without it getting destroyed or you dying and once you do that the mission is complete now this mission is very awesome because it gives you two hundred and fifty thousand dollars along with the option to buy the asset lab business as long as you set it up and the setup is very simple and what I want to do is continue these DAX missions but in order to do that I need to set up the acid lab which is luckily very simple um we're not gonna be buying the acid lab in today's video because what I want to actually do is save up for the Kasatka submarine because it is a very good way of making money because you can do the Kaoprika heist with that Kasatka so we're gonna be saving up about 2.2 million and yeah so what you'll do is you drive to this yellow smiley face looking thing on your map and once you get inside of there, you have to take out all the guards, then get inside this forklift, pick up these wood pallets with containers on top of them, and then drop them onto the bed of this truck. And then you just want to keep doing that until all of them are on there. And then you drive the truck out of the building and back to the freak shop. And then once you've done that, you are able to buy the acid lab if you would like to, but I'm not going to be doing that in today's video. I'm just going to be continuing the DAX missions, and these will earn you 100k per mission. They are definitely a, a bit harder. They're easy in their own way, and I I personally think they're pretty decently easy and they're pretty simple too so we're gonna start this first one up this first one is super easy all you have to do is take out all of these kidnappers and there will be tons of them so make sure you're stocked up on armor and ammo but it's pretty easy there will be some helicopters coming after you uh, mostly just guards and kidnappers because I don't know why but there's so many of them so yeah just be careful of that but it's pretty easy so once I completed that I had gotten obviously 100k because the first time bonus all right so instead of continuing Continuing these missions right now I'm actually going to do the cluck and bell farm raid once again just to earn as much money as I can within this video to buy the Kasatka because I'm pretty sure if I have enough money by the end of this video I will buy the Kasatka in the next one and I know it may seem like a big spend of money but once you complete the Kaoprika heist once it'll gain all that money back that you spent on the Kasatka and more and you can just keep replaying the Kaoprika heist so obviously we're just gonna do this farm raid once again and you 
you've already seen me do it so I'm just gonna skip over these setups and sort of just show you guys when I'm done with the heist all right and now I have just barely completed click and bell farm raid again and now I should gain 500k from this because that's the original amount you get without the first time bonuses all right so if you're following along with that you should have around 1.7 to 1.8 million so yeah we are very close to being able to buy the Kasatka what I'm gonna do is actually try to actually finish up the rest of these Dax missions uh and I should have enough for the Kasatka or at least very close to it so yeah I'm gonna get into that the second last those mission is where you just have to go to these hippie hideouts and find the leader of each of them and you basically just have to try to get information from them but those leaders won't have the information you need so you end up going to a third spot and find the boss of that area and they tell you where this warehouse is and so you basically just drive there and you have to look for it and then once you get in there you need to hack the door open it and then as you're in there you want to go around looking for stuff and on your mini map it'll tell you you can take a picture of it and then you just gotta take a picture of it send it to Dax and then once you've done all that stuff taking pictures of everything you'll steal the key card and then get out of there and drive back to the freak shop or just leave the area all right now the third mission is fairly easy you'll drive to the destination it tells you to go and you'll be inside of this building and you can either do this stealthily or you can do it loud you just have to take a bunch of these guards out and just make your way to the destination it tells you to go which is upstairs and then you got to find this clipboard with the intel on it and then you got to find the keys to the basement and then once you find the keys to the basement you'll head down to the basement and this is where there will be a bunch of guards you have to take out and this is where you're gonna save lab rat and take him back and then what you do is just drive back to the freak shop once that cutscene is over all right now we have about two million all right so for this fourth mission here uh what you do is you can either follow the rv that dax is driving or you can just mark the location on your map i would recommend doing that because you can get there a lot faster but you'll drive to the rehab clinic and then once you get there you have to take a couple of these guards out walk up to this door and then it'll spray you with this powder and then you'll be basically very woozy and out of it and just have to take a bunch of like hallucinations out and then on this last part when you have to actually try to shoot your own character you have to shoot your own character at first but then once it says let it go at the bottom here you want to just let them take you out because that's how you'll end up passing the mission all right now I have 2.1 million we just need to complete one more Dax mission so hopefully this is pretty easy okay so this next mission you'll drive over into the gutter to find this airplane here and then you'll drive to the airport where you will find a plane taking off and you have to fly very close to it and then hack it and once you hack it this door will open and you crash inside of it and then you have to take all these guards out that are inside of it too and then get up to the cockpit and then this cutscene will play where the main villain escapes and then you have to just basically fly the plane to this sandy shores airfield here and then you have to unload all the supplies from the airplane onto a truck and as that's happening the police will find out what you're doing so you need to take them out as dax is loading up the truck and then once the truck's fully loaded you'll hop in the truck and drive to the freak shop with the police on you what we're gonna start out with is actually just go buy the kasatka and in order to buy the kasatka it'll be locked so we need to go over and open your map and go to this age with a palm tree on it once you head over there it'll tell you to head over to the diamond casino and go inside of the music locker and then once you get to your destination you're supposed to go you need to go inside of there head over to the destination inside the building and a cutscene will play and then after that cutscene the kasatka will be unlocked once you do that you want to buy the kasatka now if you have an extra 1.8 million which i don't know if you do you want to buy the sparrow but what i'm going to actually do is i'm going to do the kea Perico heist once and then i'm going to buy the sparrow because the sparrow is very nice if you want to be able to spam these kea Perico heists the sparrow is basically just a helicopter that spawns inside your kasatka so once you buy the kasatka pavel will call you and basically just introduces himself and everything so you want to set your spawn point to the kasatka or just head over there and then if you set your spawn point to the kasatka you just want to go into a new session and you will spawn inside of it once you get inside your kasatka it doesn't really matter how you do it there will be a cutscene where pavel introduces himself once again and basically tells you how to run this whole place and what we're going to be doing is starting up the first heist now if you don't know how to do this go check out my beginners video on it i have a video on this specific heist and it makes it so much easier honestly if you're a beginner and you think this is hard if you know the method that i know it's so easy it is so easy i can't even say that enough all right so i'm just gonna actually skip to where i'm done with the whole thing because you can just check out my video on it so obviously we go through the scope out then we move on to the setups and 
and then onto the heist and then after that heist it was a little difficult because i ended up getting caught and i only made about 1.8 million which is pretty sucky but you should get some first time bonuses so with that 1.8 million i had just enough money to buy the sparrow and so the way you buy the sparrow is just go to your kasatka where you bought it from warstock and then you click on it click renovate go to moon pool vehicles click on the sparrow and then just buy it or click renovate for 1.8 million or just over 1.8 million it's very expensive but this is gonna make it so we can spam the kao perico heist now after you've done the kao perico heist once you need to wait a little bit before payable calls you and tells you that you're able to do it again also just to teach you guys a few extra money making methods and to just gain a little bit of extra money i went and did g's cash which is basically you fly over to this purple looking box here find a box full of goods somewhere around this radius here and then once you find it you should around 17,000. next i went and did a stash house where you just fly over to this purple house here or drive there whatever you want to do go inside of it take out all the enemies down there find a safe code put that code into the safe that's down there take whatever's inside of there and then get out of there and the last thing i did was a junk energy time trial where you fly over to this purple bike here or drive there you know obviously once again whatever you want to do start it up and you just basically have to ride your bike and make the time in order to earn fifty thousand. just to let you guys know that and i also just wanted to earn a little bit extra money even though we're still going to do the collecting bell farm raid if you don't know what this is check out my video on it i have an in-depth guide it is super easy the video will help you out a lot i promise so just go check that one out before you come back to this video and then once you know how to do that uh right now i'm probably just going to skip over this once again so you head over to that v obviously do all of your setups and then you move on to the heist then once you're done with the heist you drive away and then once you get to the area that you're supposed to get to the heist is complete and you should make 500,000. if you collect all the targets and the extra safe money which i'm pretty sure you can't even proceed without getting the safe money you should make 500,000. if you have not done this already you should get some first time bonuses but yeah that's about it okay so i've waited about a day and then that means that the ko perico cooldown is over so i'm actually just gonna do this once again and it should be way easier now that i have my sparrow or at least the setups will be a lot easier so since i'm doing it for the second time it's a little bit different at least the first part is so instead of being flown over to ko perico to scope it out you have to fly over to a certain area in order to get into a vellum and then fly over there yourself but there will be some enemies there so you just need to take them out and then fly to ko perico island this intel setup is very easy it's just about the same except now you don't have to scope out any of the drainage tunnels or entry points or anything like that all you have to do is take pictures of all of the secondary loot once again and then also at one point in the mission you need to go to the communications tower but then after you do all that it is over and you can just fly back to los santos i'm probably just gonna skip over this once again because i've already done the kia heist and from here it is exactly the same so if you haven't already you can just follow my kia Perico video like i have mentioned li literally a minute ago so yeah okay so that run wasn't the greatest but i got the elite challenge done so i ended up getting around 1 million or just over 1 million so not the best but not the worst so now we have almost 2 million dollars and i'm going to use that 2 million to buy the acid lab now the acid lab business is a business that you unlocked during the dax missions it costs 750 thousand dollars this will make it so you can earn lots of passive income you just need to buy it from mutt then head inside of there then you gotta buy supplies for around 60 thousand or you can just do a stash house which fills it up completely all you do is wait for the supplies to deliver then you wait for the product to build up and once the product is all the way full then you can sell it while i'm waiting for that to be done i'm probably also gonna buy some homing missiles for my sparrow just to make the cave preco setups a little bit easier because some of the missions would be a lot easier if you had you know rocket launchers for your helicopter so i'm gonna do that and while i'm waiting for the cooldown for the cave preco heist to end which takes i think about an hour or 30 minutes or maybe a little more or less and while i'm also also waiting for the acid lab to fill up i'm gonna do a cluck and bell farm raid and obviously it's pretty self-explanatory so i'm just gonna skip over that and i'll see you when i'm done with it also before we do that i'm actually gonna talk about something in the acid lab so you can customize this acid lab by going over to mutt outside the acid lab and then you can get an equipment upgrade which will make it so you can make more money with the acid lab you can only do that if you do 10 fooligan missions so just throwing that out there if you want to do the fooligan missions you can they are pretty easy all you do is call dax and then click request work and then he will give you a mission you want to do 10 of those in order to unlock the equipment upgrade but i don't know if i'm gonna be doing it in this video but i guess we'll see i ended up doing one and it earned me about fifty thousand. so now i'm gonna head over to the vespucci police station and start up the farm raid like i saw in the comments in my first video is very good for beginners so i would recommend
recommend you do this if you have not already it is very easy and you can make a good amount of money from it yeah if you do it right you can earn five hundred thousand dollars it is very awesome and if it's your first time doing it you'll earn a two hundred fifty thousand dollar first time bonus i would recommend you do it all right i have finished with that and now i have earned another five hundred thousand so i should have about a million or over a million let's see okay so it looks like we have around 1.3 million but it's whatever okay so i'm gonna go check on my acid lab to see if we gained any product so yeah okay it looks like we gained like a little bit of product so i'm gonna wait a lot longer and while i'm at it i'm actually gonna buy some supplies and, and speed up my acid lab production and the way you do that is you just go over to this arrow inside your acid lab and then click right on the d-pad if you're on console at least and then it'll speed it up for the day and you can do this every single day all right so i'm going to do the caprico heist once again it's just a good way to make money and it's so easy so i'll see you guys when i'm done with that okay so it wasn't the best run and i didn't have the best loot either so we made just under 1 million because i got the elite challenge now we have just about 2.1 million so next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna buy another business and that business is going to be the bunker now the bunker is a very easy business to run it is just like the acid lab it's just passive income you just buy supplies wait for it to fill up on product and then you sell it and this one you can make a lot more money than the acid lab but it's still good to be able to do both of them just to make that much extra money so i'm gonna buy this one on the top and i'm gonna buy the personal quarters instead of buying an expensive one that's closer to the city i'm pretty sure this is cheaper than just buying an expensive one next to the city but i don't know so once you buy the bunker you just need to head over to it you can't teleport it if it's your first time going there so i'm gonna go to my kasaka and just fast travel next to it so once you go inside of the bunker this really long cutscene will play and then at the end of that cutscene it'll tell you to head over to this laptop and this is where you're gonna set up the business and the setup is super super easy so you just head over to your laptop click on this setup option and then once you start it up i would recommend taking your sparrow or any helicopter if you have one and then fly over to the destination it tells you to go to then all you do is hop inside the truck that is at that destination and drive it back to the bunker and then after that your supplies will be completely filled up and you don't need to worry about buying it until it goes back down because it's all the way filled up and you're done setting up that's basically it and you just have to wait for it to fill up and just make sure to keep buying supplies for your asset lab and your bunker and you should make good money and also another thing you'll make a lot more money if you do these sell missions in public lobbies i'm pretty sure you make close to or just about double the money if you sell it in a full-on public lobby with max people but i don't know that's pretty risky so you can just really do whatever you want so yeah you'll head back into your bunker and i think i have a video on it if i do i'll pop up the timestamp and the actual video itself right on the screen right now and then you can go check that out if you want to what we did was set up a couple of businesses and we also spent a lot of money so we have not that much money right now but what first i'm gonna do is go check on how full my acid lab and my bunker are okay so they're not that full i'm just gonna buy some supplies for my acid lab uh the acid lab's almost full but yeah also it looks like there's discounts on the upgrades in the bunker so i mean depending on what time this video gets out try to jump on that but it's whatever there's just one other way you can make money in the bunker and it's times two money right now where you basically just go over to this blue ammo icon on your map inside of your bunker you walk over to this truck and then you just click right on the d-pad and all you do is you drive the truck to this destination within a time limit while enemies are chasing you and you should earn 50,000 originally but it's times two money so that means I'm gonna earn a hundred thousand so yeah boom as you can see 100,000 right there okay so while I'm waiting for the bunker and the acid lab to fill up which I don't think the bunker will fill up anytime soon I'm going to do some of these daily things while I wait for the acid lab to fill up which are the G's cash and the junk energy time trial so I'm gonna get on that and I'll see you when I'm done with both of them okay so I earned around like 70k I think from both of them combined I'm also probably gonna complete the Kaprika heist just once or at least do the first gather intel mission while I wait for the acid lab to fill up and it should because the gather intel mission takes me forever because I always use a bunch of tries on it so uh, I guess we'll see that and I will see you guys when I'm done once again with this gather intel mission and we'll see if my acid lab is filled up okay yes my acid lab is filled up so I'm gonna show you how to do a cell mission so first you're gonna want to go into a public lobby you want to probably try to revolve around lobbies that have low level people but a big amount of people um I was very fortunate because no one was killing me during these missions so I was very lucky but what you do is you obviously just go to another public session then you take your acid lab outside of the freak shop then you go inside of it and then go over to these supplies here click sell product and then it'll spawn you outside on this delivery bike and you just have to deliver your product to this destination and sometimes it'll be a fake where you'll get caught by the police or at least that's what it was for me or sometimes it'll just be where you have to do a bunch of different deliveries 
deliveries i'm pretty sure you get an extra like times 0.5 for every person that's in your lobby so it's only gonna give you about like 100k more i thought it would give me more but i only ended up earning around 300k which was kind of unfortunate i mean i wish i would have got more but it's whatever okay so i'm going to do the caprico heist i'm gonna finish it up and try to earn some money because we are very short on that right now so i will see you guys when i'm done with the Kaoprico heist. Hopefully we get a good run in. Usually it goes wrong, but hopefully it goes right this time. Okay, it seemed to go pretty well. We earned 1.1 million. So that I would say that's a pretty decent run. And yeah, so now we have about 2 million. All right, so it is actually the next day. So I'm gonna go check on my freak shop real quick and my bunker just to see how they're doing. So I had to buy some supplies for my bunker. I'm going to do that one like bunker gun running thingy. Like where you have to deliver the stuff to ammunition. All right, so now I'm thinking about buying another business because honestly, that just sounds like a good idea. I'm thinking about the main Maze Bank foreclosures building because you can make some pretty decent money. It's active income, not passive. I mean, if you buy the safe for it, it can be passive, but mostly active. Okay, so I don't have enough money for everything we need to buy. I don't think I do at least. So I'm gonna do the KO Preco heist once again. It's because you have to buy the building itself and then you have to buy a warehouse for like around the same price as the building, depending on where you get it. Some of them can be really expensive. You can also buy bigger storage containers. Also, if you have not already, you can go check out my KO Preco heist guide. I'll put a I'll put a card in the top right. You can just click on that. But yeah, I'm gonna get into this Caprico heist and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Okay, this run was definitely one of the worst runs I've done because I didn't get a very good primary target and I didn't get very good secondary loot either. Actually, I got a good amount of secondary loot. So I earned just under 1 million because I also got caught, which means I didn't get the elite challenge, but that does not matter because now we have enough to buy the business and the warehouse we need. Also, make sure to deposit your money into your bank account if you're in public lobbies, but if you're in private, then you should have no issue. You. I once again went back to the bunker, checked on some stuff in the freak shop also. So my freak shop was almost out of supplies. So I went and did a stash house just to refill it without having to spend any money. I could have spent money, but I just felt like showing you guys that you can do this to resupply your freak shop or your asset lab, I mean. Okay, so now I'm going to buy the Maze Bank foreclosures. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So you just go to your phone, go to internet, then go to Dynasty 8 Executive, and then you just look for this one here. It's 1 million. You should be able to buy it if you just do the Caprico heist at least once. If you buy any extra stuff with it, it will be pretty expensive, but instead of having a personal quarters, it's just called the accommodation, just to let you know. So you can do that. You can also buy the safe, a gun locker, and the safe is just basically money fills up over time, and you can collect it over time. It's not too crazy. I might buy it later, but I guess we'll see. The accommodation costs around 800000 so I'll buy that later. Boom, so I bought it. I'm just gonna head over to the business, and it'll just give you a tour of the building. Log into my computer, and I need to buy a warehouse, so I'm probably gonna buy a cheaper one it doesn't really matter which one you buy so i'm just gonna buy this one and then i'm gonna spend eighteen thousand to go source some cargo my warehouse can hold 42 cargo containers so i'm gonna do a little bit of grinding just to try to fill that up and yeah so basically all you have to do is there will be variations of missions you have to do to go and collect this cargo so that's why it's very useful to have the sparrow and this one i basically just had to head over there then it turned out it was that the truck they were supposed to be in was empty so i had to go track them down collect them and return them to the warehouse one by one so I'm gonna log into this computer and I'll show you guys what you can make. So I just delivered three of them, which cost 18,000 and I can already make 36,000 at my highest. So this just shows that this is a very good way of making money. The cooldown for these missions are about two to three minutes. So they're pretty good. Now I'm gonna buy the accommodation, which is in the exact same spot you bought the building itself. And you just click renovate, click on the accommodation and then buy it. And now I will be able to fast travel to my building here. Now I'm gonna go check on my bunker and my acid lab once again just to see how we're doing might need to resupply some stuff just so i don't have to worry about it all right now i'm gonna grind a little bit to try to earn a bunch of cargo for my warehouse all right so now i have about nine crates in there i didn't do too much grinding just a little bit but by the end of this video i'm gonna try to get this all the way filled up and now this is why i wanted to buy this business is because you just do these missions and as time passes you just keep flipping through your bunker and your asset lab to resupply their supplies and you can make some really good passive and active income at the same time so so this is a very good setup for beginners. In my opinion, this is one of the best setups along paired with the Caprico heist every once in a while. It is a very great way to make money. Just a little update. Now I have 14. Also, don't forget to do your daily product booster for your acid lab. Just to remind you. All right, so I'm going to go do a stash house because my acid lab is running pretty low on supplies. So I'm going to go do that. And then I'm going to go boost the acid lab production for the day. And I'm also going to do another gun running delivery just in case you guys see a random spurt in my money. Also, just to let you know, this 
this week, it's double money in the special cargo sell missions. So I made tons of money during the sell missions. Just to let you know, I forgot to put that in when I was editing this. So yeah, sorry. All right, so now I'm just gonna grind out these special cargo missions because I really wanna show you guys what it's like to do it and then sell it. As I'm doing this, I'm just flipping through my bunker and my asset lab to see if any of them are filled up. All right, so it looks like my asset lab is filled up. So I'm gonna do an asset lab sell mission. So yeah, and you guys have already seen me do that. So I'm probably just gonna skip past it. All right, so I earned around the exact same amount of money I usually do is like 300k so now I'm gonna go back to grinding the special cargo missions I just want to fill it up all the way and then I'll show you guys when I'm done okay so I filled them all up and then I actually went and tried to do a sell mission but I just completely failed it so that means it took a little bit of cargo away I was pretty mad but I went back on the grind and tried to fill it back up and this sell mission ended up going very well it was super easy I literally all I had to do was re-rack up all my special cargo and then all I had to do was drive these three trucks to their destination and it wasn't even very far at all like their destinations were super close some missions can be very easy and some can be very hard so it really just depends on what the game feels like doing to you but the game was very fortunate to me after that I went and restocked up on my acid lab stuff and my bunker and this is actually probably where I'm gonna end off the video I got us all set up like if you followed along I got all set up we got everything set up that we need to do to be able to just grind and make money and what I would recommend doing is flipping through your asset lab and your bunker while doing those special cargo missions and then every once in a while while you're doing those special cargo missions you you, you do those to wait for your KO Perico heist cooldown to be over in order to be able to do those while you're doing those sell missions we got a lot of things set up we got all sorts of businesses and heists ready to set up so what we're going to be doing is just grinding like crazy in this video and first I'm gonna do the KO Perico heist my daily one so yeah I'll show you guys my methods to make this much money very fast it should only take you about two to three days depending on how long you want to play for but yeah so first i'm gonna do the ko preco heist and if you don't know how to do this go check out my video on it i have a great beginner's guide it is super easy so i'll see you guys when i'm actually done with it because it just takes super long i'm not gonna go over the whole video with it okay we got a pretty decent run there i don't think we got the elite challenge i actually forgot oh no we did okay i'm pretty sure we got the elite challenge so we should make an extra like fifty thousand, i think so lucky for us so we made made about 1.1 million and I think before we only had like 1.6 million so now we have like 2.7 million and this is only the beginning once you're done with your daily KO Perico run uh, I'll show you what to do next now you want to check on your asset lab and make sure your product and supplies is going up and also your bunker our bunker is still not full I have I don't think we're gonna be able to sell it at its fullest in this video but I'm probably gonna show you guys a sell mission later on but it's not gonna be entirely full I don't think unless I like AF but I'm not gonna do that. So yeah, next what we're gonna do is while we're waiting for the cooldown for the KO Perico heist again, we're going to be doing those Maze Bank Securo Serve cargo missions and just try to fill that thing up because there's still double money this week and the double money might be ran out by the time this video gets out, but I guess I'll see. So yeah, I'm gonna just do a couple of those while I'm waiting for the cooldown for the KO Perico heist and waiting for my asset lab and bunker to fill up. And what you're gonna wanna do is just rinse and repeat this and just keep grinding. And this is basically one of the best best methods I know personally to make money to just grind and make passive and active income these businesses that I have are some of the best combos that I know so I would highly recommend you follow what I do you can also do the click and bell farm raid I did it in the first video and maybe the second one and I have a tutorial on it so I'll pop that up on the screen right now you can go check that out if you really want to it's a very nice heist for beginners you can make 500,000 from it and it's super easy too all right so when I first started recording this video it was kind of laid out so I just waited till the next day to continue this part so I grinded for a little bit of cargo for my maze bank business and then I went and did the KO Perico heist once again along with filling up my acid lab and my bunker so I'll see you guys when I am done with the KO Perico heist because it takes super long like I said last time so I will just see you guys when I'm done with it and yeah if you're looking to get into the KO Perico heist by the way you need the Kasatka and just go watch my video it's a great video uh the KO Perico heist is so much easier than you think I used to be a beginner and I didn't think that the KO Perico heist would even be possible but all I had to do was actually start on it and try it and then that's what made it so I could figure out the best method for it so I ended the KO Perico heist with 1.1 million just about the exact same as the last one so now we have I actually don't know how much money we have but we have a lot of it so I'm gonna go check out my freak shop and and we'll see if the product is up it should be but I'm not entirely sure yes it looks like the product is fully up so I'm going to do a acid lab cell mission it's super easy you just
this you just drive your ass lab outside of the freak shop go to the area where you can sell your product inside of the acid lab then it'll spawn you on this motorcycle and there'll be variations of missions that it'll give you depending on what the game feels like doing i guess so i got this one where i just had to make a couple of easy deliveries and i highly recommend doing this in a public lobby because for every person that's in your lobby it like multiplies it by like 1.5 the money it multiplies so you can make an extra like 100k in a full lobby maybe a little more uh, it's not a crazy amount of money but it is a good amount of money for how easy these missions are once again i checked on my bunker and it's about halfway full and i'm pretty sure that means that it can hold like 500k it's less than i remember but it'll have to do so now i'm just gonna go back to grinding these cargo missions for my maze bank securo serve building and i will see you guys when i'm finished with that because it is double money which means that we can make over 1 million dollars just selling this and sometimes the sell mission can be really easy like if you saw my last video you know that the sell mission was like insanely easy way easier than i thought so yeah i'll see you guys when i'm done all right so i went and checked on my acid lab in my bunker just to refill them and just to see if they're full obviously the bunker is not full yet but it is almost full and the acid lab was not full so i'm actually going to do the ko Brico heist once again i know i've done it a lot of times but that is a major thing that we need to do in order to earn big amounts of money so yeah i'll see you guys when i'm done with it all right that was a fairly decent run we earned just under a million so yeah pretty decent didn't get the best loot but we're not gonna let that stop us we're gonna keep grinding and keep trying to make that 10 million so we can become rich i went ahead and boosted my acid lab product just in case the supplies gets there and i forget about it so yeah now i'm gonna start grinding these special cargo missions for the maze bank building business thing that i have because it's still double money by the time this video gets out it's already over i already know it so yeah i'm gonna grind these and i will see you guys when i'm ready to sell them also just in case you forget to make sure to do your daily spins just in case because some of those cars on the podium can be worth lots of money that you can sell them for. all right i have grinded all of those special cargo missions and i'm ready to sell them i'm hoping this will be easy so let's get into it okay so all i have to do is get inside this boat and drop off the cargo and the only thing that's hard about this mission is how slow the boat is but the delivery area is not even far away and we have 30 minutes to do this so it should be very easy for us okay i see the area and i'm just about to deliver it and boom there we go i just delivered it and i made 1.19 million that is very good money especially for a special cargo sell mission i was it was very fortunate that we got double money and rp for these missions and I, that i was able to take advantage of them so we have a good amount of money now i think we have around three or four million i'm not too entirely sure but yeah while that was happening i'm gonna go ahead and do the ko Brico heist once again it's just part of the process guys just trust the process you need to not be lazy but if you're not being lazy then well congratulations i guess after that ko Brico heist i earned just over 1 million which is pretty decent so now we have i actually don't know how much money we have but we have definitely a good amount of it so uh let's keep grinding so i went back ahead and started grinding those special cargo missions once again just to see if i can get a little bit more out of that times two money i also was able to do a another sell mission but it was with different cargo so i made around 200,000 from that yes okay i made 210,000. so yeah that was pretty good money um so yeah so because i thought it would be pointless to record the same thing over and over and over again i just decided to skip this whole entire part because it's really just the same thing i'm doing over and over again but i will not just end the video off there i'm going to show you how to do the bunker sell mission which it's very similar to the the acid lab you basically just head in there click on sell stock and it'll say that you need like two other people i would definitely recommend that you get at least one other person because i was able to do 10 out of 15 deliveries but i still made 600 000. but after what felt like years of grinding it was only a few hours i was able to do one last acid lab sell mission and i earned 10 million dollars after i left the area in the sell mission i was able to earn the last bit of money that would get me up to 10 million i've had so much fun recording this series over these past few weeks if you watch this long you're a trooper and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching this little movie so yeah see ya